here's a handy tip. You can get an idea of how CES has evolved by comparing the years and the camera location numbers at the bottom of your screen. Fun fact, CES is the largest trade show in the world held each year in one of the sections of Las Vegas that was used as a backdrop for the 1971 James Bond movie. Screenshots from the movie will give you a good idea of how far the city has taken the CES venue since the first winter show in 1978. For many visitors, Las Vegas is all about the nightlife. To the rest of us heading over to the convention center, Las Vegas is about CES and the nightlife. Established in 1967 by Jack Wayman, CES is 50 years young, starting mainly with radio and TV displays before introducing such products as the audio cassette, compact disc, and more. Much more. Change is a constant at CES. Bulky analog products have morphed into smaller and lighter digital products. Capturing home video of the show has gone from 34 pounds on the shoulders to less than 2 pounds in the palms, and even less weight for the smartphone users. In 2017, the most noticeable change was the disappearance of the Riviera Hotel. For many years, the Riviera was the site of the high-end audio exhibits. It was here where some people got their first ever look at CD players, which debuted at $1,000. They also saw $10,000 high-end turntables and speakers. The convention center itself has undergone many changes and expansions over the years, bringing it a long way from its humble beginnings. In the meantime, this attendee has also undergone many changes and expansions of his own. Needing every inch of 50 football fields worth of display space, the show spills out of the convention center next door and onto the other venues connected by the buses. And buses and buses and more buses. The allure of CES is felt all around the world, which is why CES is covered by the press from just about every point on the planet. The show attracts the anonymous, the extremely anonymous, along with the better known technology professionals. It's always interesting to see who else can come across your path. Take it from somebody who absolutely hates crowds. CES could be the only show on the planet where the crowds actually add to the experience rather than take away from it. Visions of the future are everywhere. In recent years, this very same spot showed earlier visions of the future. This entire hall has hosted the future since 1978. A few hundred feet away is a newer hall that showcases the latest technology on the road. In the 1980s, this same hall was an outdoor area that also showcased the latest technology on the road. We saw the forerunner of today's satellite TV and more. The presence of automotive technology continues to grow. The self-driving capabilities continue to become more reliable. CES occasionally showcases promising technology made obsolete before it can hit the market. Then there are always the eye catchers.
So, what did we see in 2017? We saw plenty of discs, and they were all vinyl. TVs were getting better, thinner, and more versatile. Categories not even dreamed of 50 years ago were prominently on display. Canon showed 3D scanning and a camera so sensitive it could capture video using nothing more than starlight. Award-winning products had a place of their own. There were also products to celebrate a half century of CES. After four days and nearly 40 miles of walking, the next CES seems right around the corner. Please join us.